So I'm finally doing it. I'm finally transforming into an ego. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you've probably guessed, I'm going to be transforming myself into an e-girl. So yeah, obviously life is very stressful at the moment and I can't really think about anything without starting to have a panic attack. So I'm going to throw my entire existence into this. I'm committed to becoming an e-girl. Let's just get into it, shall we? <laughs> e-girl time, baby. So first thing we're gonna start with is makeup. I feel like I should start with hair because my hair is an actual mess, but because my hair is kind of uncontrollable and it's basically already an e-girl hairstyle, also kind of e-boy more than e-girl, but <laughs> we're not doing an e-boy tutorial. This isn't a tutorial. Jesus Christ, please don't come for me. If I don't look like an e-girl at the end of this, it's not my fault, don't come for me or I'll scream. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot. I forgot the main ingredient. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From what I know, and um, that isn't much, e-girls like Glossier. And honestly, I've always said this doesn't actually do anything. Do I look like an e-girl yet? Okay, so now that we have a layer of nothing on our skin, let's move on to concealer. So recently I have been using a mixture of the Colourpop concealer and the Jeffree Star concealer. But yesterday I just was like, right, let's just do a really quick makeup look. And I ended up just using this Revlon Photo Ready Candid Antioxidant Concealer in the shade 010. And I was very happy with it. So I'm just gonna use that today. I feel like it's sort of the exact same color as my face. And that's what you want. See, I feel like e-girls always have perfect skin. So I'm not going to, what's the word? Like, I'm not going to limit myself. I'm going to splurge. I'm not going to not splurge on concealer. And then for the sake of being a bad bitch, we're going to use the Jeffree Star concealer as well, just to highlight our under eyes. Just some dibby dabs. What the fuck is a dibby dab? <laughs> I'm honestly losing my shit to be honest with you. I'm losing it. <laughs> but anyway, dabby dab, dibby dabs as you say, because that is a saying that people say. Okay, so now that we're starting to look more like a human and less like a water hag, I'm going to move on to blush, which is a very, very, very important step to the e-girl look. Even when I do my normal routine, blush is a very important part. But today I'm gonna pack it on. We're gonna try and like, you know, I want to be glowing red, just glowing. I like, I, I, I tend to put all my stuff in, in a, like a ceramic bowl of sorts and today I'm using this thing. Okay, so first step is this Dream Matte Blush by Maybelline. And I, I do actually really like this stuff. I think, it, I think it's nice. <laughs> it, it just gives you like a, a little rosy glow. And obviously you can't forget the bridge of your nose, which I do anyway, obviously, because I'm, I am deep down already an e-girl. No, I'm kidding, sorry. Sorry, e-girls, please. <laughs> it's just, I'm a bit scared because Lucy told me that on TikTok, this girl was like transforming into a goth. And then apparently it was more grunge than goth. And then everybody just ripped us to shreds. So if at the end of this, I don't look like an e-girl, I'm sorry, please don't come for me. So honestly, if Lucy hadn't told me that, I would have just gone balls, balls all out. Yeah, that's the one, balls all out. Okay, so next step is the Glossier Cloud Paint and I've got it in the shade Storm. See, thing is, that looks like a lot. That looks like I'm gonna be red by the end of this, but I found a lot of the time when I start to rub out, it just disappears and then it's just not there anymore and I just, it's very sad. <laughs> Get back indoors, you bitch. <sighs> Disgusting. Okay, it's not time to panic just yet, but this side is a lot redder than the other and I'm not <laughs> really sure what to do. I do think in a lot of looks, they do tend to bring the blush right up to their eyes. So I'm gonna do that. Right, I think, I mean, honestly, that looks like I've not done anything. Where did the blush go? We will layer it up again later, so don't worry too much. We'll, we'll get there. So next step, I just want to use powder just to set my eyes. Okay, so next step is contour because we're gonna commit to the skin. And yeah, I'm using the Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. 
and I'm just gonna go into these two. So we need to do this because I naturally look like I'm about two years old. So this is to just try and match, I don't know. I don't know, typically when I see e-girls, they, they look about 20 at least. I mean, even though they probably themselves are about two. <laughs> We don't want to look too, okay? So we're just working that in. We've got to uh, contour the double chin and try and, you know, pretend it's not there. <laughs> we will know, but we don't want them to know. I'm just gonna take a little dibby dab, we're committing to that today, and put it under my nose, because why not? Okay, so now it's the time that we've all been waiting for, which is blush part two. So I have two to choose from, so I've got a Morphe blush in the shade Spirit and a NYX blush in the shade Risky Business. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe shade first and then we will probably build it up. I really like the whole blush thing. Honestly, I usually look like a ghost, so blush kind of saves me a lot of the time. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of happy with that, but we're gonna just go in with this anyway. So now it's time for eyebrows. We'll, we'll start brown and I might put a little bit of blue in them because I have seen a lot of girls doing coloured eyebrows when they have coloured hair and we do have coloured hair, so maybe I will, maybe I won't, but we'll see. Okay, so just because it takes me about 10 years to do my eyebrows, I'm probably gonna just pause it here and I'll be back with my eyebrows done. Okay, so I've just finished doing my eyebrows. There is a slight bit of blue there. I don't know how noticeable it is, but subtle blue. That's what we like. Is that in focus? My eyes literally don't see in focus, so how am I supposed to know if I'm in focus? <laughs> I guess that's skin completely done, so it's finally time to move on to eyeshadow. And the thing that I've seen mostly is just pink eyeshadow and then eyeliner, so I think I'm just gonna commit to that. Okay, so for my eyeshadow look, I'm going to be starting with the James Charles palette. So I'm just gonna be using this shade here, the little pink one in the corner. I'm just gonna come a little bit closer while I'm doing my eyeshadow so you can actually see it. Oh. I'm just gonna blend it out so it's not just all one, one block. And then I'm gonna take more of it and put it in my crease and like spread it up. Sorry, this is taking pure, just all my brain cells are, are working on this right now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna bring that under my eye a little bit. So next I'm just going to go in with this NYX Love You So Mochi palette because it's got some nice shimmery pinks in there. So I'm going to go in with this shade here and then put it probably just on my inner corner to the middle. Blend it out, you know. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm thinking I might just take a slightly darker shade and just put it on my outer corner just so it's not just one big color. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go in with this shade here and put that on my outer corner. Is that even what you call it? I, I don't know. <laughs> Get off. I've not committed to you yet. Okay, I think that adds a tiny little something. <laughs> in my inner corner, I'm just gonna use that one. Okay, so it's finally <sighs> time for eyeliner. So if I had to say what was most important to the eagle makeup look, I'd say it's probably blush and eyeliner. And honestly, I am terrified of doing eyeliner and I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm afraid. So I've, I'm using these Colour Me Fine BFF Liquid Liners by Colourpop and as much as I'm loving using the coloured versions, I think today we need to commit to the black. <sighs> this hair could ruin everything. <laughs> okay, we've made a start. I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, so before we go any further, I'm gonna do the same on the other eye so that we can kind of try and get them to match. <laughs> Did I even try? <laughs> I mean it was. 
<laughs> okay, we're just gonna move on. We're moving on. We're moving on. <laughs> Why did that one go so much easier and better and just... I thought the first ones meant to go well. I'm gonna put some mascara on just quickly. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I actually really like the e-girl fashion trend that's going on. I think it's really cute. I mean, I mean, I'm not taking part in it, but I don't know. I think it's it's a cute little trend. But also, if you want to buy my bath water, just leave a comment down below. I'll send it to you for money. Okay, so now it's time for the decoration. Finally. Blue or green? I think green dots and blue hearts. Sounds good. Um, I mean, I have some serious issues with symmetry, <laughs> so I guess we're gonna have to make the other one bigger. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to add hearts, and I really like the little hearts. It's proper Marina in the Diamond vibe, so I, I live, and we're gonna have fun. Am I doing it too big? I think I just did it way too big. Yesterday I was doing like the tiniest little hearts, and today I'm just like... Okay, I've kind of made a big mess of this, I'm not gonna lie. And every time I look down, I feel like there's little bugs on my face because I can kind of see them and it's a little bit unnerving, but I'm gonna go redo this side because I think it's gone a little bit wrong. <laughs> I don't even know if that's any better. Seriously though, shout out to all those people who fucking draw little hearts and shit on them. Every day, I don't know how you do it. Okay, that doesn't really look like a heart, but at this point we, we, we need to move on. I can't, I don't have time. So I think we're officially now an e-girl, that's official. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on to lipstick. So I'm just gonna use this Revolution Pro lipstick in the shade Dominir. Right, I'm not putting it on properly because I want everything to be very loose. <laughs> I did just realize I forgot something very, very important, which is freckles. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. So I was having like a little think about what I would consider e-girl fashion. And I think it's sort of like, I think I came up with anime goth princess. That's the sort of vibes it gives me. Okay, so I've just done the freckles. Um, I focused them in the middle and on my cheeks, that's what they're called. Now I'm gonna move on to highlight, which is nice and simple. So I'm just gonna go in the James Charles out. <laughs> the James Charles palette again and use this shade here. Okay, yeah. So I just remembered what we were doing before my camera died. That was lipstick. So what all I did was just sort of blend it in. And then I'm just gonna go in with this NYX lingerie liquid lipstick. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that on my inner mouth. <laughs> okay, and that I guess is it for the makeup. Bravo. So I think my hair, I'm just gonna try and stick it up. <laughs> And now it's finally time for the clothes. I will just say, this isn't the best e-girl outfit in the world. I mean, like I said, I couldn't really buy anything new, so I just had to work with what I've got. And I wanna do a stupid little transition thing here because I need to learn how to do them. <laughs> I don't know what to do, should I click? Cause I can't click. I'll just tap myself. And when you next see me, I'll have a different shirt on. Did that work? No, <laughs> okay. I've just got a basic little bralette on underneath. Not that that matters because we are gonna put a shirt on top because layering shirts is very important and I'm very bad at it. It never looks good on me, I'm not gonna lie to you. Can you stop screaming? <laughs> Beware the moon. Uh, if we could imagine that this is a band tee and it has a band name on it, that would be great. It doesn't but I mean, there's not really much I can do there. So this is my outfit. So I've just got, <laughs> so I've just got a little skirt on. It's like a little, you know, sort of thing. And then I've got my mesh shirt on and a black t-shirt that we're pretending is a band tee. Okay, now we need to add the uh, choke me daddy vibes. <laughs> okay, so I've just got a little choker. We're just gonna stick this on, even though my shirt literally covers my neck. <laughs> There isn't really much point in doing this. Okay, so I've got a choker that you can't even see, but don't worry, that's not the peak. The peak is, I went on Amazon, I bought a load of chain necklaces. <laughs> so I've got quite a few, but I have already picked which one I want to use, so. Sorry kids, you don't get to actually pick. I'm just gonna use this one because I think it's cute because it's got a little heart on it. Pure ego vibes. 
And I do also have this chain, which I figured could go on like my skirt or something, but this doesn't actually have anything to connect it to. Okay, so I figure I can kind of like stick this to my skirt. And then just tuck that in over there. And then if I pull my shirt out over it, oh my God, nobody will ever know. Have I done it? I don't, am I officially an eager? <laughs> Oh, earrings, of course. So I've got these big silver hoops and I'm just gonna stick these on. So yeah, you know what? This has actually been a lot of fun. I like, I like this. Pretending I'm someone I'm not. If you haven't tried to be an in-girl before, I would probably recommend it. <laughs> I don't know what you can see. I cannot see anything, but this is my e-girl transformation. I'm kind of digging the chain. I mean, I'm not really edgy enough to rock the chain by myself, but with this excuse, I don't really know what to do with myself. Like, have you seen it? Is this all you need? That is my e-girl transformation. I'm sort of in a very peculiar way right now. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was honestly just a bit of fun to try and get my mind off everything that's going on. And I hope that it managed to do the same for you, so. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. And again, like I said, this is my first time filming on my new camera. So if it's slightly dodgy or if the audio is not amazing, I'm really sorry. And if this audio didn't film or anything went wrong camera, I will come for you. Bye. That's not, we're not doing that. I told you, we're not, we're not doing it. Bye bye. I actually touched the lens, I hate myself. <laughs>